there. Mr. Ed here. I'm uh, checking out the uh, the latest video from uh, the 628 uh, Dirt Rooster here. Him and his uh, mistletoe uh, procedure. He says he's got a secret way of keeping bees happy uh, at Christmas time. I just saw the guy trying to put his these watermelon sized hands inside of a crack about this big and I think he got the tip of his finger in there but that's about all he got in there and uh, he's trying to figure out how to get his hand in there. <laughs> Good luck buddy. So what am I doing here today? Well I'm sitting on the back porch of uh, the honey hut. Today is uh, December 28th uh, 2016. Um, it's 72 degrees if you can believe that. It's beautiful out here and uh, I'm actually sitting out here and uh, as you, if you can see it um, feeding the bees right up here. Let me, uh, let me show you what we're doing up there. So what we got here is uh, some of that pollen substitute that uh, I've got inside these, these tubes. Um, I used to hang these tubes um, out on the trees but now I do all the feeding on the back porch so uh, I used to use it up here. Uh, now you see right here I got some cracked corn right here. Yesterday, uh, they were feeding the goats yesterday, and um, they had the bags out there, and the bees were all over that cracked corn. So uh, this time I'm gonna get another tube and put some cracked corn in it. And I figure you can buy cracked corn for six dollars for a 50-pound sack of that. With that uh, pollen substitute in there. You're going to have to shell out about 80 bucks, maybe even 90 bucks for 50 pounds of that stuff. So I'm going to go for the cheaper stuff and let the bees eat the pollen and then I'll go feed the, the corn to the chickens and the, and the goats. This uh, feeder that I got, I want to show you um, how I do these things. Let's check this out. There's not a lot to them. It's just about a 4 inch uh, piece of PVC. Uh, about 12, 14 inches long. Uh, just a, an end cap for for the pipe, and then a, a, a downspout. You got about maybe six bucks in materials in something like this. And what's really nice is the downspout doesn't allow any moisture um, or a very minimal amount of moisture to get in. So the, the material inside, whether it be the the cracked corn or the um, pollen substitute, it stays dry in there for, shoot, I've, I've had it stay dry in there for two months. So the thing works really, really well. Now I realize the uh, cracked corn uh, isn't going to um, stay as long as a pollen substitute and it's just the pollen that's, or the, 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 the bits of corn that are on the uh, corn as they crush it up. And they'll eat this stuff pretty quick. And as, as you saw up there, it was all just uh, dried corn all the pollen's gone. But so I'm gonna take a cup of this stuff and and uh, just pour it into the uh, feeder here. I'm gonna um, shake it up so that it spreads out pretty evenly in there. Just like that. And I'm just gonna set it up there right next to the other one. Well, here you go. I'm just gonna set it up here and these girls will They'll find this stuff pretty quick. And that ought to do it. I'll find out how uh, many bees are actually going to get into this stuff as opposed to this. Because they've been, they've been feeding now for probably about, I put this stuff out about, maybe about three days ago. And so they've been here, you know, ever since that time. So here we are at the end of the year. Uh, and uh, as I look back over the, uh, the events of the year, as uh, the keeper of the bees for the monks here at St. Joseph Abbey, uh, there's, there's lots and lots and lots of highlights uh, for me. Uh, we started off the year 2016 um, uh, with... Uh, 18 hives that, that have been, uh, in a sense, developing o over a period of four years. And uh, in March, uh, it's back March 11th of this year, 
uh, a week before I was getting ready to split our hives, um, we had the big flood here at the Abbey, and uh, we lost um, 16 of the 18 hives. And the two hives that did survive, both the queens died, where I had to uh, requeen them. So we, we had two uh, hives going into uh, uh, March, into the, into the new year. Um, with uh, uh, a lot of diligence and, and uh, um, patience with, with a lot of people because of all the videos that I was making, I was uh, um, able to really secure a lot of, uh, of swarms, of cutouts, and um, we've uh, brought the number up to today. It's, it's around 28 hives, I believe, is what we've got here that, um, that are actually still very, very active and in good shape. Um, uh, there's been a, a I mean I've got a, I did all this work and it wasn't by myself I had a lot of help uh, doing this um, a lot of, of support uh, people that actually sponsor beehives contribute time and money um, to uh, make the project here at um, St. Joseph Abbey which we call uh, um, uh, St. Joseph Abbey uh, honey at Abbey as in A B B E E honey um, to make it really uh, a, a reality I mean we built this beautiful um, building right here. Uh, we furnished it with some really nice equipment. Like I said, we're up to about 28, 28 hives here uh, on the property. Um, thank uh, all the YouTube uh, people that, that um, have subscribed to my channel. Wow, in just the one year that I started, uh, um, I've been making videos probably for two or three years, but in this one year I may have started out with maybe three or four hundred uh, subscribers. And uh, today I'm, I'm, you know, 2,000. So that's thanks to all you guys, all you fans of, uh, uh, of bees and, and supporters of the Abbey um, who subscribe to the channel and kind of like follow along um, all the goings on of, of the bees here at the Abbey. So again, thank you so much for, for all you contributed to uh, this, this uh, wonderful, wonderful cause here. And of course, everybody benefits from uh, what, the, what the bees do. Of course, you know, the, the honey. So I'm going to uh, sign off for now um, until uh, 2017. And you know, I wish uh, God's peace and blessings to everybody in the uh, coming year. And uh, I thank you for watching and keep on watching. I'll be making more. I'm going to close this video with uh, shots of the, the beehives that we've got around here. And like I said, today, 28th of December, and uh, the bees are flying. So... I'm going to close uh, with that. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here till next week.